So let's have a look. So number one, the discrete random variable x can only take the values of one, two, three, and four. Now for this one, the cumul cumulative distribution function is defined by the following. So we've got fx equals kx squared for x equals one, two, three, and four. So essentially what this means is that it's probably comfortable to always do this, is to draw a cumulative distribution function over here and simply just um, put your values for x, which is one, two, three, and four, and start plugging in into the question. For example, when x is one, you can have k times one squared, and that gives you k. So the response here would be k. Plug in two, you get two squared, which is four, so you get four k, and so on, and eventually you get up to 16 k. One property of the cumulative distribution function is that the final value of, of the cumulative distribution represents all the properties summed up to get this. So essentially 16k equals the sum of all the properties up to 16k. So that means this is essentially equal to 1. So A, find the value k, well k is 1 over 16. Because either A, you add up the properties, or, or B, you make this equal to 1. Now, now for the next question, I had to find the property distribution of x. And to do this, um, lay out, lay down your, pro, your, your x values from 1, 2, 3, and 4. And now we just need to think about it in relative to the cumulative distribution. For example, to get the first value for, for, for fx, if we assume that we have fx equals k, f1 equals k, that means because it's the very first term value, this means that the very first property is also k. Okay, this, this is all properties summed up to 1. There is none before it and the only one we had is k, so it's k. As for the second one, by the time you reach the second property for cumulative, you would have summed up the first two properties. So adding up the first two will make 4k, meaning this would be 3k, because 4k minus k is 3. And next one, to get to 3, it would be 9 minus 4, which is 5k, and 60 minus 9 is 7k. And yeah, that's it guys, that's literally how you, ca you calculate the probabilities from all of this. And to make sure this is right, if you add up all of these k's, you must get 16k, and done. That's literally done.